video, we're going to be hacking the Google homepage. Only you will be able to see this. We will not be hacking the Google servers because one, I can't do it. And two, I would go to jail. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click inspect. And that will give me a view to inspect uh, all the elements. And then I'm going to select the body tag. And then here I can write in custom styles. So if you're following along, there's a website that you can go to with links. So I'm going to copy the background dash color blue and paste that into here. And you can see now the background color is blue. But if I want to change it, I can go here and I can select a custom version of blue or green or whatever color I want. So I'm going to select this purplish color. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to refresh so that it goes away. And I'm going to also add a, uh, I'm going to show you how to add a background image. So I'm going to paste that in, the background dash image. And the image or the URL for the image goes in between the parentheses of the URL. So that's giving us an image. But if we want to control the size of the image, we can do background dash size. And then I can specify the number of pixels. So that'll give me uh, 100 by 100 pixels. And they're all repeating. So I could do change this to 50 or 400 or whatever you want. And I just recommend playing around with this and just as a uh, good way of learning. So now I've got them at 50 pixels, so they're super small. So I can also control if they repeat. So I'll copy in the background dash repeat. And right now they don't repeat. I can make them repeat along a certain axis. So I can do X or Y. And Y is up and down and X is left and right, um, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to refresh this. If I want a background image to cover the whole thing, I can copy in the background image and then I can do background dash size cover and that'll make the background image cover the whole background or the background image cover the whole body of, the, uh, of what we're doing. So that's pretty cool. Let's say we wanted to have multiple background images though. Believe it or not, you can now do this. So uh, I'm going to copy this, uh, the multiple background images, and I'm going to paste this in right here. And you can see, um, I don't need the whole thing, but you can see we have the uh, one going this way and one going this way. So repeat Y is controlling the first image, and then repeat X is controlling the second image. And then I can toggle that on and off the other way to where the first image is going along the X axis, and the second image is just repeating everywhere. So that's our repeat X and our repeat Y. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, go ahead and play around with this. And this background size, 100 pixels for the width and 100 pixels for the height. So I think if I change this, let me see if I change this to 200. Yeah, you can see they all changed to 200. So it's the width and the height. And I'll have links for all the documentation on all this so you can read up on it. One cool thing you can do is you can blend a background image um, with a background color. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to copy blend uh, image with color. So let me see if I can zoom in and paste that in. So you can see the color is blending in with the image. So if I change this and we're using the uh, luminosity blend mode, but we can make it whatever blend mode we want, you know, so there's tons of these like crazy blend modes. So difference was cool. Exclusion I thought was pretty cool. Um, all this stuff is just really cool. So you can just play around with it. Google uh, Developer Tools really allow you to just play around with all these properties. Um, one cool thing you can do is you can blend an image with another image. So I'm going to load the two images again, and I'm going to cover it. So both of them will be covered, and we'll use an exclusion for the blend mode. So let me paste that in. And you see the two images are blended in together. So it's kind of creating this crazy effect, um, which is pretty cool. So that's really cool. Um, the other cool thing that you can do to hack the Google homepage is you can make it rotate. So let's look at some basic rotation. So that's a transform property. So I'm going to transform it and make it rotate 72 degrees. But if I select it and I click the up arrow key, you can see it'll spin. So I can make it spin left and I can make it spin right or go in the negative direction. And I'm spinning the whole page with rotate. Now there's some really cool properties where you can make it uh, rotate around an axis. So if I said instead of just rotate, um, uh, just regular rotate, we just rotate X and then we can make it rotate around the X axis. Now to really get this, you have to see it rotate. So let me start off with 10 and 
you can see it's rotating around that uh, left and right axis. So you can see it's literally flipping. So as I go through it, it literally flips uh, the other way, which is pretty crazy. And you can do the same thing for uh, rotate Y. So if I did uh, transform and then rotate Y right here, um, to really see what it's doing, you really have to play around with it. So you see, yeah, so you can see it's like really rotating around that Y axis, which is the up and down axis. So you can flip things around, which is really funky, a lot of fun. So this is a great way to learn web development and also have fun uh, doing it. Um, the other thing you can do is a uh, scale. So you can do a scale as well. So you can do transform. And then you can do scale. So you can make it bigger. And you can also scale it along an axis as well. So you can do scale X. And that'll make it bigger along the X axis. Now I don't have this on my thing. So I'll put this in. But you can also do a skew as well. So you can do skew X, I think. Oops. Let me see. Skew. Oh, it's skew. Yeah, skew X. There we go. And it'll skew it along uh, the x-axis. So this is kind of fun. Let me, sometimes it's hard to select these, so you gotta be patient, but you can kind of see the effects of skewing the web page along an axis. So you can see what it does. And you can also do multiple ones as well. So I noticed that while I was here. So I can do skew and I can do it along multiple degrees. So let me see. So I can see the effects of all this crazy stuff that we're doing to the Google homepage. <laughs> so that's really cool. One thing that I found that I really liked was a uh, clip path. So you can create a circle path and that's really easy. So we'll do that on the body and you can see it's doing the circle. Now you can't really see the circle unless you uh, change, start changing the value. So if I use the up arrow key, you can see the circle start to appear and it makes even more sense if I probably add a background. So we'll do a background of blue. I, that doesn't really help, but um, you can see the circle start to appear and you can kind of see it looks like a circle. So it does it better when you can kind of see it better when you're doing it to an image, but you can kind of see the circle outlet. Uh, you can also do an ellipse and there's a few other, you can do polygons, a few more you can do. So this is like an ellipse that you can do and you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So go ahead and just play around with all these. And the last thing I wanted to show you in our Hacking Google homepage uh, first version is that you can do a custom mouse cursor. So there's some pre-built ones. So I'll show you the cursor right now. So when I say cursor, I'm talking about the mouse, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So when I go over here, you can see I've got this north, east, southwest cursor. We can also do all sorts of other ones. So if I wanted to do um, crosshairs, we'll do that. You can see I got a crosshair cursor. And you can play around with these built-in ones. You can do grabbing, which is looks like a lot of fun. That definitely looks like grabbing. And you can also add your own URL. Now, you have to add a really small uh, image, and I think it has to be a PNG, but don't quote me on that. You might, you might be able – I think you can do a GIF too. Yeah, you can do a GIF too. But you can see I've got my hard image right here, and it's getting it, – what's happening is I'm getting overridden by that. But now I can do a heart for my uh, thing. And, uh, yeah. So that being said, we have uh, we've hacked Google. This is our first time around. And the next part of the series will add some JavaScript to make some things dynamic and make it even more fun. Hope you all have a great day. If you have any feedback, let me know. A few quick announcements. Uh, we're doing a Swelp meetup. We're going to have uh, Plenty, the guy that made Plenty, uh, in the meetup. And if you want to do a talk in the meetup, please let me know. Uh, give me some feedback about this video. I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you later.